What is up guys, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a whole new series I'm really excited to do on my channel. This is a double-decker bike that I rescued from a bike rack. Now, when I say I rescued it, I cut it from the bike lock and took it home with me, but not without permission. So my local city has a thing that they do every two to four years where they go around the entire city and any bikes that have looked like that they've been sitting there for a very long time, they cut them off the racks, they toss them in the dump. So I actually ended up approaching them to see if it was possible for me to cut it off of the rack and take this with me. Cause this has been sitting out for at least five years that I've seen. Every time I drove by and I'm like, whose double decker bike is that? I was always so bummed. And then I see that it's taken so much wear and tear with rust and dry rotted tires. And this thing needs a lot of TLC that I was really excited to be able to get this. Now I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it looks right now. We're gonna talk about the things that I wanna do to it. We're gonna talk about the different sets of wheels and probably the different options that I wanna do to be able to make it electrified. I don't know if I wanna do an electric hub or maybe like a mid-drive setup. We'll talk a little bit more about that as the video goes on. But in the meantime, let's take a look at this thing. Let's talk about the wear and tear and the two different frame setups that we have here in order to make this thing work. Now taking a wide look at this bike, you see that there are three different bikes to be able to make this happen. And yes, I say three because there actually is three. You have the upper section, which is a Mongoose Maneuver mountain bike frame. You have the lower section, which is a Raleigh Response 12 speed bike. And then the midsection, the midsection I'm talking about is where the steer tube connection happens. That actually looks like it's a huffy mountain bike of some sort. The weld's not the greatest, but in refurbishing this thing, I'm going to be doing a lot of sanding to be able to make this look a lot better to where all the rust is off of this, to where there isn't any deterioration that can actually make this bike fall apart in the process of making this an electric bike. Now at first glance, this bike looks like it's trash, but in my opinion, I can definitely refurbish this and make it look way better than it is right now and probably way better than it ever could be. So I think one of the first things I wanna put on my list is basically ripping this thing completely apart. When I say completely apart, I'm gonna take everything all the way down to the frame and I wanna see exactly what parts we need on a list. So I have a front wheel that I believe will work with it. It depends if I wanna do a mid-drive motor setup, which I'm not too sure if it would work on this, but I would be so excited if it could. Um, I have a rear wheel that could fit in here. So I'm gonna to have to toy with the idea if a mid-drive will actually work on this. We're gonna to have to kind of go to the drawing board to see if that's something that's possible. Now, a seat definitely is something we need to swap out. Handlebars, stem, headset, pretty much everything that you see on this bike except for the frame setup needs to be replaced. So let me show you the wheels I plan on putting on this thing that I have from an old fixed gear setup. Now these are my old wheels from my fixed gear bike. Now I think they would look absolutely amazing on this bike. I haven't determined what color I wanna do the bike yet, but I think black is definitely the way I need to go with keeping the wheels black. Now, if I do a mid-drive setup, I'll be able to keep this rear wheel. If I don't do a mid-drive setup, then I have to get a new rear wheel that has a hub-driven motor in the back. I will do a little bit of research and see if I can get a hub driven motor that could possibly fit this rim. Uh, I'm not too sure about that yet. We're, we're going to have to go to a drawing board to see if that will work. But I think overall, these wheels would actually look absolutely perfect with this bike. So yeah, let's rip this thing apart, get it down to the frame and see what we need. I mean, look how rusty that is. That is crazy. That's definitely more than five years of rust in my opinion. I mean, they, they have asked it when it came to doing the double decker bike. They just <laughs> cut the spokes that are in here, but I'm still surprised that the bearings still move in here. The cassette, no, doesn't move, not, so, not whatsoever at all. Um, so that's gonna be shot for sure, but we're not gonna be doing the same setup. I'm actually thinking the setup I'm gonna do will not be like a configuration with the chain like I did there because they had gears involved there. I'm not gonna be involving any gears. It's gonna be a single speed setup. So I'm thinking just one cassette on the lower level. Um, like I said, 
as we get closer and closer uh, to, I guess, the finalization, I'll determine whether or not it's gonna be a mid-drive or a hub-drive motor. I'm, I'm sure you guys watching this now will probably already know what works and what doesn't. But uh, yeah, no more gears, that's for sure. Single drive only. They did like a shim on the inside of the frame, I guess, because they didn't have a post that fit. Yeah, so that's that's super loose. We'll get that out last. Uh, I'm gonna start popping cables on this thing. We don't need them. I haven't determined the type of brakes we're gonna do yet, but I'm gonna pop off the derailleur cables and all these other hangers and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, dude. There is nasty black crud coming out. Look at all that went all over the floor. That is disgusting. That's how long this has been out here. It's just nasty, nasty grease. I need to get some gloves on to be able to get the rest of this off, but yuck. The nastiness came off the floor right here. I'm gonna hose out the inside of this thing. This thing is atrocious, look at this. Look at the inside of that. You're not even gonna be able to see how nasty that is in there, but this thing definitely needs some type of a uh, wash. And there's that shim that I was talking about. This thing just popped out really easy. There was nothing to hold this in. So. Another thing I gotta put on the list is a new bolt to go through there for the seat and seat post combo. So, I'm gonna dry this bad boy off. We're gonna, I guess, prop up the other set of wheels in the meantime, just to kind of get this thing looking like somewhat of a bike. Then we're gonna determine the colors and the parts that we need for this next part of the build. All right, so the wheels don't look half bad on there as it is right now, but I've listed some things on the screen as you see right here. These are the things I need to pick up on Amazon or my local bike shop to be able to get this thing moving in the right direction. But the first thing we have to do before any of those parts go in there, we have to determine what color I wanna paint this bike. So in the meantime, I want you guys to drop a comment below on what color you guys think this bike should be. Also, should I do like my normal color scheme that I like to do, like how I like hit it with a paintbrush, or should I just do a traditional paint job? Let me know in the comments below. And that means the next video will be an entire video with just prepping and painting this bike. So yeah, comment below, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any other suggestions for other parts you think that I should get for this thing, drop a comment below. So with that being said, I'm doing videos every single day this week, plus shorts. So you guys should put those post notifications on so you do not miss an update. So if you guys like this video, drop a like. If you love it, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.